Hey everyone, so it's mid-October and we're just doing a family outing today for the first time since this little guy arrived 11 months ago. Um, it's uh, October, like I said. This is always a pretty challenging month, not because of the lack of fish, but because there's so many different fishing opportunities um, during this month and you know, I can never make up my mind where I want to go fishing. So you have your uh, different salmon species in the Lower Fraser River tributaries. Um, you can fish for trout and chard that are feeding on salmon eggs and you can fish in the Fraser River which is where we are today. So we're fishing for cold salmon in the Fraser River. Um, because things are a little bit more complicated, we got this little guy here, uh, we got our tent set up. Um, so I want to keep everything pretty simple. Um, so I just brought my uh, light spinning rod and reel outfit and we're just going to be casting spoons and spinners, right? Yep. Yeah, so we're going to take turns and try it out and see if we can get a cold salmon. Yeah, yeah. After, I haven't fished in one year, so, yeah, so that's going to be interesting. So you haven't fished since this little guy arrived, and so you kind of out of touch, I guess. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So do you get to get, you going to try first, and or I get to try first? I want to try first. You want to try first, yeah. So yesterday I actually got a fish, and I caught, caught a couple of fish down here, and uh, so we thought, well, let's bring them down and try it out and see if we can get some nice cold salmon. So stay tuned. Yesterday when, when they did, it was kind of weird, the line kind of went really slack and then went really tight, kind of like a spinner bite, but except using a spoon, right? Mm. Both fish were like that. Mm. Oh! Oh! There's a fish! Oh! Told you! <laughs> there's a coho! It took it so close to the shore! Now you have to bear with me. It's been a year since the last course caught a fish, so yeah. Okay, he is very um very jumpy. Are you ready? I don't think he is, but Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, where you see I can't see anything. Okay, we're gonna bring it over there. And then back again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, sorry. Ah, come on, fishy. Okay, got it? Oh, there we go. Woo! What is it? Oh, it's a wild. First coho of the day. First 
my first fish in a year, but hopefully not the last one. Okay, so this is a wild fish, so we're gonna have to let it go. There we go, go spawn some babies. Nice fish. So it was a nice fish. Not too you bad. were skeptical that we weren't gonna catch anything today. Yeah. So that only took 10 casts. Okay. And the fish wasn't very far out. I mean, it was, I think it bit very close yeah, to shore, right? It I, did. Actually, I actually thought it was a snag, but no, the snag was moving. Yep. We've got 10 pounds. I wonder if it's bigger than the one I got yesterday. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Of course it is. When is it my turn? This baby's getting heavy. <laughs> Ten more casts. Ten more casts. Well, it's finally my turn. I've been dying to get the fishing rod after you know, I got that big one. And the baby's asleep now, so we have a bit of quiet time and hopefully the fish will keep biting. We're fishing during an outgoing tide today. Um, usually for this fishery, the incoming tide is better, but because the outgoing is quite small, um, the drop today, this afternoon, is only four feet, just over four feet. Um, so the current, the, the outgoing current is very, um, it's not very strong. So it, it, when, when in that situation, the fishing can be quite good. Um, the fish actually hang around um, very close to shore because they want to avoid that um, that stronger current the, out in the middle of the river. So uh, just as you see, uh, the, the fish that Nina got is actually really close to shore. And so a lot of fish are actually traveling in the shallow water. So the setup once again is pretty simple. Um, we got our Shimano rod and reel, spinning rod and reel, and uh, which is tied with a small Gibbs croc, quarter ounce croc from an orange flashy one like that, which I've used for many, many years. Back in 1996, when I discovered cold fishing in the Fraser River, this is the first lure I tried and, and I caught many, many fish in the past and I've always stuck with it. Oh, Jake Owen. Hey Jake, that's a hatchery fish. Really? Yeah. Nice fish, about six, seven pounds. So in the Fraser River, you have to release all your wild coho salmon. But if it's a hatchery fish, which has a missing adipose thing, you can actually keep it. So this is one fish I'll go home and be on a dinner plate. What's your yeah, okay. One more, one more. Yep. So you got a dispatch of fish right away as well. Well, I think that's almost it for today. It's almost baby's dinner time. You have to go home? Yeah, I think so. Well, a few more cars and not still haven't given up yet. It's been a pretty good day though. We saw we saw a few fish being caught, right? And you caught one lucky biggest lucky. fish. Yeah, biggest fish of the day. It was luck because this, it was the first few castings we got here and yeah. And I haven't been able to get any bites at all. So well, it's always tomorrow. Yeah, so we're gonna pack it up and maybe give it a go tomorrow. And it's been a pretty enjoyable family outing. We've been out here for three, uh, three hours, about three hours, just fishing the outgoing tide. Um, this time of year, it's always great for um, cold sand fishing. So definitely get out and try it out. And uh, if you want more information on this fishery or any other fisheries in British Columbia, uh, definitely check out our website at fishingwithrod.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel, right? And leave a comment. If you have any questions, uh, I'm always happy to answer them. So until next time, good luck fishing. Mm -hmm.